Joshua chapter 10, Conspiracy of Five Kings. Now it came to pass when Adonai Zedek, king of Jerusalem, had heard how Joshua had taken Ai and had utterly destroyed it, as he had done to Jericho and her king, so he had done to Ai and her king. And now the inhabitants of Gibeon had made peace with Israel and were among them, that they feared greatly because Gibeon was a great city as one of the royal cities and because it was greater than Ai and all the men thereof were mighty. Wherefore Adonai Zedek, king of Jerusalem, sent unto Hoham, king of Hebron, and unto Piram, king of Jarmuth, and unto Japia, king of Lashish, and unto Debi, king of Eglon, saying, Come up unto me and help me, that we may smite Gibeon. For it hath made peace with Joshua and with the children of Israel. Therefore the five kings of the Amorites, the king of Jerusalem, the king of Hebron, the king of Jarmuth, the king of Lashish, the king of Eglon, gathered themselves together and went up, they and all their hosts, and encamped before Gibeon, and made war against it. Gibeon asked for Israel's protection, and the men of Gibeon sent unto Joshua to the camp, to Gilgal, saying, Slack not thy hand from thy servants. Come up to us quickly and save us and help us. For all the kings of the Amorites that dwell in the mountains are gathered together against us. So Joshua ascended from Gilgal, he and all the people of war with him, and all the mighty men of valor. And the Lord said unto Joshua, Fear them not, for I have delivered them into thine hand. There shall not a man of them stand before thee. Joshua therefore came unto them suddenly and went up from Gilgal all night. And the Lord discomfited them before Israel and slew them with a great slaughter at Gibeon and chased them along the way that goeth up to Beth Horan and smote them to Azekah and unto Mekeda. And it came to pass as they fled before Israel and were in the going down to Beth Horan that the Lord cast down great stones from heaven upon them unto Azekah, and they died. They were more which died with hailstones than they whom the children of Israel slew with the sword. Joshua commands the sun to stand still. Then spake Joshua to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said in the sight of Israel, Son, stand thou still upon Gibeon. And thou, moon, in the valley of Ajalon, and the sun stood still, and the moon stayed, until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Is not this written in the book of Jasher? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven, and hasted not to go down about a whole day. And there was no day like that before or after it, that the Lord hearkened unto the voice of a man, for the Lord fought for Israel. And Joshua returned, and all Israel with him, unto the camp to Gilgal. But these five kings fled, and hid themselves in a cave at Makeda. And it was told Joshua, saying, The five kings are found hid in a cave at Makeda. And Joshua said, Roll great stones upon the mouth of the cave, and set men by it for to keep them. And stay ye not, but pursue after your enemies and smite the hindmost of them. Suffer them not to enter into their cities, for the Lord your God hath delivered them into your hand. And it came to pass when Joshua and the children of Israel had made an end of slaying them with a very great slaughter, till they were consumed, that the rest which remained of them entered into fenced cities, and all the people returned to the camp to Joshua at Makedah in peace. None moved his tongue against any of the children of Israel. The death of five kings. Then said Joshua, Open the mouth of the cave, and bring out those five kings unto me out of the cave. And they did so, and brought forth those five kings unto him out of the cave. The king of Jerusalem, the king of Hebron, the king of Jarmuth, the king of Lashish, and the king of Eglon. And it came to pass, when they brought out those kings unto Joshua, that Joshua called for all the men of Israel and said unto the captains of the men of war which went with him, Come near, put your feet upon the necks of these kings. And they came near and put their feet upon the necks of them. And Joshua said unto them, Fear not, 
nor be dismayed. Be strong and of good courage, for thus shall the Lord do to all your enemies against whom ye fight. And afterward Joshua smote them and slew them, and hanged them on five trees, and they were hanging upon the trees until the evening. And it came to pass at the time of the going down of the sun that Joshua commanded, and they took them down off the trees and cast them into a cave wherein they had been hid and laid great stones in the cave's mouth, which remain until this very day. Joshua's conquest. And that day Joshua took Machedah and smote it with the edge of the sword and... The king thoroughly, he utterly destroyed them and all the souls that were therein. He let none remain and he did to the king of Machedah as he did unto the king of Jericho. Then Joshua passed from Machedah and all Israel with him unto Libna and fought against Libna. And the Lord delivered it also and the king thereof into the land, hand of Israel. And he smote it with the edge of the sword and all the souls that were therein. He let none remain in it, but did unto the king thereof, as he did unto the king of Jericho. And Joshua passed from Libna and all Israel with him unto Lashish, and he camped against it and fought against it. And the Lord delivered Lashish into the hand of Israel, which took it on the second day and smote it with the edge of the sword and all the souls that were therein according to all that he had done to Libna. Then Horam, king of Giza, came up to help Lashish, and Joshua smote him and his people until he had left him none remaining. And from Lashish, Joshua passed unto Eglon, and all Israel with him, and they encamped against it and fought against it. And they took it on that day and smote it with the edge of the sword, and all the souls that were therein he utterly destroyed that day according to all the, that he had done to Lashish. And Joshua went up from Eglon and all Israel with him unto Hebron, and they fought against it. And they took it and smote it with the edge of the sword and the king thereof and all the cities thereof and all the souls that were therein. He left none remaining according to all that he had done to Eglon and destroyed it utterly and all the souls that were therein. And Joshua returned and all Israel with him to Debi and fought against it. And he took it and the king thereof and all the cities thereof. And they smote them with the edge of the sword and utterly destroyed all the souls that were therein. He left none remaining as he had done to Hebron. So he did to Debir and to the king thereof as he had done also to Libna and to her king. So Joshua smote all the country of the hills and of the south, and of the vale, and of the springs, and all their kings. He left none remaining, and utterly destroyed all that breathed, as the Lord God of Israel commanded. And Joshua smote them from Kadesh Barnea, even unto Gaza, and all the country of Goshen, even unto Gibeon, and all these kings, and their land did Joshua take at one time, because the Lord God of Israel fought for Israel. And Joshua returned, and all Israel with him unto the camp to Gilgal.